Welcome to Mormon Book Reviews, where an evangelical encounters the Restoration. I'm your host, Stephen Pinecker, and uh, this is Season 2, Episode 1 of Mormon Book Reviews. Book Reviews, and we're very excited about uh, where we've come. So this is going to be a book review, but it's also going to kind of be an overview of where we've been and where we're going. Um, so it was very exciting uh, last spring when I my very first book review was a Pentecostal reads a Book of Mormon by my good friend, Dr. Christopher Thomas. And little did I know that where this would go, where this channel would go, uh, with the uh, advent of that particular episode when it came out. And since then, it's really amazing what this channel has done. So then, of course, I had Christopher Thomas come on the program. And of course, as all of you know, um, Dr. Richard Bushman uh, was also a guest on my program, which was a really remarkable thing. Um, you know, it's been a real honor, all the support I've been getting and all the wonderful guests that have been coming on my program. And it just is amazing to me. And so what we're doing is we're trying to just put out a product every year that's going to get better and better. And we're going to improve our graphics and we're going to really uh, go out there and try to put out a quality product for you guys and give you good information about the books that I'll be reviewing. So um, a few things before we get into the book review. Uh, I met Dr. Bushman at the Mormon History Association uh, this past June. And uh, I was, Rick Bennett told me, he said, you need to come to this thing. And I'm like, well, I was hesitant and everything like that. And I'm so glad I did. And a shout out to Barbara Brown, who's the executive director, soon to be uh, new, uh, in, newly in charge of Signature Books. Um, she was wonderful to me as well. But the very night, the first night was Thursday night, and they had an opening uh, uh, night where they had all, basically the principal cast from Murder Among the Mormons come on the program. So about 10, 15 minutes before the program started, I actually approached Dr. Uh, Bushman, told him a little bit about what I'm doing, and uh, then his wife, uh, Claudia, who's the incoming president of the Mormon History Association, she said, look, Richard, he's got two of your books on your business card. So I think that might have helped. But within five minutes of me meeting Dr. Richard Bushman, he agreed to come on my program which is really an honor considering that others have told me that they've asked him and he's turned them down. So that was really just a cool part of something I would have never expected. I had 10 names on a list of people that I wanted to have on my program and I scratched them all out. I've met them all. I've either had them on or they're coming on. I didn't have Richard Bushman on. I had Sandra Tanner on that list, but I did not have Richard Bushman. I never thought in a million years that he'd come on the program. So again, that's why I wanted this one to be the very first book that I was going to review for season two. So of course, here it is, the one, the only, Joseph Smith, Rough Stone Rolling, a cultural biography of Mormonism's founder by Richard Lyman Bushman. Uh, so this is become one of the most important books in the 20th century in the Mormon studies and historian community. Now, I have talked to other scholars who have been somewhat critical of him. Uh, some feel uh, of the book, some feel that he didn't uh, go far enough dealing with polygamy. Now, I have talked to scholars on both sides of it. Some have said that he, they felt that it was covered well enough. Some have even told me that they, some people actually left the church uh, as a result of this book, even though they're progressives who don't think he went far enough. So I thought that was interesting. Um, and I, I really feel like he, he covered it. But I also look at it this way. Uh, Dr. Bushman is a believer, and he believes in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. That's the church he belongs to. Um, and he believes that this is part of his legacy, his history, his people. And so he was writing a, a scholarly uh, history of Joseph Smith, and I really felt like he did a fantastic job. Uh, overall, I think it's a, it's a good book. Now, what I liked about the book was uh, a few things I thought was interesting. If you go to page 286 in the book, um, he actually talks about the coming forth of the book of Abraham. And what I found so fascinating was is that he basically says, the, be the book of Abraham could be best thought of as an apocryphal uh, work, uh, ad addition to the book of Genesis, which I thought was really interesting, especially, you know, basically equating the book of Abraham to the apocrypha. And this book at the time, uh, and still is, is distributed by Deseret Book. Now, when I bought this book about 15 years ago in the paperback edition, because I, I didn't have the funds for the hardcover, so I had to wait for the paperback, I read that and I was shocked. I was like, my goodness, he's this is being distributed by the church, and this book is saying that the book of Abraham is apocryphal. So I thought that was a very interesting um, take from that. 
Um, another thing I thought was kind of fun was that he uh, referenced uh, different uh, ge uh, geography models for where the Book of Mormon may have uh, taken place, where have pe different people have speculated. So he touched on a few. But I, I, he did actually mention one in particular that really caught my eye, and that was Ralph Olson's uh, hypothesis that it, the Book of Mormon events took place in the Malay Lake Peninsula. And so, by golly, I went and downloaded that paper written for Sunstone, and I read Ralph Olson's paper about the Malay Peninsula. And I thought, wow, that's really interesting that he went out of his way to uh, submit that. I actually ran into one of his kids, talked to him on a Zoom call, and they were unaware that Bushman actually cited uh, Ralph Olson's uh, model for the Malay Peninsula. So I was glad I was able to inform them of that as well. Uh, so... Um, as we go through the history of Joseph Smith, obviously he's a very controversial person. I understand that there are things that he did and said and allegations that were made about him that are controversial. So this is where, as an evangelical, where do I go? Like, how do I look at Joseph Smith, right? I, it's, it's, he's a complicated man. All I can say is, is that when I read jo Rough Stone Rolling and I read No Man Knows My History, I really... Between those two books, I really kind of got a good picture of the prophet. Um, I want to compare and contrast a little bit uh, with No Man Knows My History. Because I one of the things I did not, and I'm going to do a review of No Man Knows My History by Fallon Brody uh, as well. Um, one of the criticisms I have about it is that uh, she doesn't look at uh, Joseph Smith as being a believer. She believed that he was a con artist. And so with that in mind, that's how she approaches the subject. But when I read Joseph and I, and, I, and I study him and I read his writings and I read what Bushman wrote and I read what Brody wrote and I read what Vogel wrote, I see a fuller picture of somebody who was a believer. Now, Dan Vogel says he's a pious fraud. Uh, that's the term that he uses. It's an interesting thought. Um, and of course, uh, Richard Bushman believes that he was a prophet. So I feel like the two books, like for instance, No Man Knows My History, for, for basically for the 20th century, this was the go-to book uh, for Mormonism. Um, I will tell you that at my local Barnes & Noble, it's a scaled down one that just opened up in Sarasota. Um, they have one book that's Mormon related in the entire uh, store. So they've got plenty of Christian stuff because we're in the southeastern United States. There's very little Mormon stuff here at bookstores, just so you know, folks. But there's one book that they have, and it is Rough Stone Rolling. So that should tell you where uh, where people now view that book that it used to be no man knows my history would have been that book now that one book that stocked at barnes and noble is uh bushman's book which i think is you know just kind of an interesting turn of events so i think that the uh no man knows my history and rough stone rolling really are good complementary pieces to each other now i would also mention vogue dan vogel's work but his is just uh, the early years he's working on another period piece as well so that will be another one to take into account to get a fuller picture of uh, joseph uh, smith and the history uh related to it so basically here is the official uh mormon book reviews book review joseph smith rough stone rolling a cultural biography of mormonism's founder by richard lyman bushman Rough Stone Rolling is one of the most important and influential books of Mormon scholarship of the 21st century. Not without some controversy, where progressive thinks Bushman didn't go far enough to more orthodox members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints who think he went too far, which I think places the book in a very good spot. When I bought this book around 15 years ago, I would have never imagined that I would one day meet him and have the honor to interview him. I have read this book cover to cover at least three times. It is really one of my most favorite books period. A very important book, a must-have, and a perfect companion piece to Fawn Brody's No Man Knows My History. I give it five out of five stars. So uh, just want to remind my audience uh, to uh, visit my Patreon page. Uh, we really are getting support from that. So, uh, you know, if you want to support my channel financially, would greatly appreciate you hopping on Patreon. Uh, check out our website, mormonbookreviews.com. We are now a full-fledged podcast. We are on almost all, all the major streaming platforms, including Apple and Spotify and, and now Google as well. Uh, and I also just want to remind you to like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the like button to be informed when a new episode comes out. And you have yourself a great day.